Hello, if you're new to this channel, uh, my name is Sebastian and I'm a chef. Well, not only a chef, uh, I'm a gamer, YouTuber, whatever, who gives a shit. Today's video uh, is basically about my journey as a chef and what I learned during this journey. So if that interests you, I'd love if you tag along. Connie Reeves is with us. Like always. So my secret life started around five years ago in this little burger joint. No, not. You get what I mean. In Kongsberg, Norway. Yes, I know, it's crazy. Nobody knows what this town is supposed to be. Nobody knows about it. While working there, uh, I was also attending high school in Norway, my first year of high school. One day I got the offer. Sebastian, would you like to go to France to become super duper master chef? I said, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, awesome baguette. <laughs> okay. Um, while working in France, I realized many things, both good and bad. Something I didn't know before going into this profession, or France for that matter. I won't lie, the bond that you form with your co-workers, your fellow chefs, it is incredible. You work these crazy hours, but we did them together, as a team. I remember this one restaurant I worked at, Le Jansinit, it was called. It is probably where I have enjoyed working the most. I would start my day off at 8am and finish around 11 or 12pm, it depends on the days, you know. Uh, with a little pause between 3pm and 5pm. And I worked like this for only 2 months, but honestly I could do it for years. It is mostly because of the friendships made, the jokes, the focus, the passion that we all shared for cooking. But still, sometimes I had the feeling that I had no control over my life. My life was just work, like an endless circle going around and around for ages. I woke up, I worked, often we would go for a drink after we finished. And the next day, even more tired than the day before, we continued. But it didn't matter, we were doing what we knew best. Cooking, having fun. Thinking back at it now, um, I've never been that happy, tired and exhausted at the same time. The thing I learned is that we as humans have an incredible ability to push ourselves, to go above and beyond, to find strength where we didn't think possible, to go on fiercely, headstrong without doubt. We just need to find that motivation to keep going every day. Find something to hold on to and do not let go, because we are all capable. I've seen it from the most unexpected of places, I've seen young chefs rise with this insane energy that just drives people around them as well. The thing that kept me going during my most difficult times, and still does, is the endless possibilities to learn, to explore, to create. So every time I take on that jacket, that apron, I know what drives me. I know what to do. I'm not saying that it is easy. If things were, honestly, what would be the fun in that? If there's no challenge, how will you ever be able to grow? How will you become the person that you are supposed to be? You, as I did, will surely encounter difficulties in your path. May it be the chef's path or any other path. But it's never, ever without obstacles. I remember my first real challenge as in Norwegian going to France to learn cooking at its best. I was immediately confronted with this bomb of culture that I hadn't really experienced before. The language, the people, the way people interact. I do remember having a very difficult time adapting at first. Every single day I would try to get better, to understand better, try to blend in with the crowd, to be as they were. But then I realized that that wasn't the way to go and I accepted that fact. After that it just started to flow more naturally after some time. 
But that quickly changed when I was at my first internship. I went in there headstrong and ready to take on anything, but during my time at Uduktu Sabwa, I got yelled at every time I stepped into the kitchen. I was constantly being put down with personal insults. I remember becoming so unmotivated that that I considered quitting. But instead I manned up. I took the beating that my chef handed out. I swallowed it. I used it as motivation to keep pushing and improving. I'd figured out how to use the anger I got to fuel myself. And one could say that it broke me, but then rebuilt me. I don't know if that makes sense. But I am forever grateful for all the lessons France has taught me. It has been quite a journey and there is still a really long way to go. There's just something about going out and exploring new cultures, different views and people that makes you rethink what you know, what you think you know, what you truly believe, who you are, what, who you want to be as a person. Because you, you experience all these things, but you, you never quite know. I, for a while, thought that I knew all I needed to know, and I can't even start to express how much I was wrong. So, if there is anything to take from this video, it will be that we never finish learning, we never finish making mistakes, no matter how grand or insignificant. What makes all the difference is like, what makes all the difference is how you choose to tackle those mistakes. And what I would like to know now is, how will you tackle yours? Anyways, if you made it, made it ah, God. Anyway, if you have made it this far into the video, I would like to say thank you for watching and just have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Be free. Do what you want. Peace out.